Hey guys, Maxman RC coming at you slowly, but coming at you. First and foremost, I apologize for the lack of videos. Uh, as you can tell, you know, I got. Luckily, I'm down to just one uh, crutch for this point. But uh, I basically I busted my foot and broke a bone, and uh, this was a work. So it's a long story. It's frustrating, but nevertheless, I digress. Basically, uh, the way it works is. I've been uh, focusing more on myself getting better, obviously, and luckily we're getting there, you know. It's a broken bone. We all know it's going to take some time. I was told by the doctor it's going to be about a month that I have to wear this stupid black boot, which if you follow me on the, on the socials, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, luckily, it wasn't more than what it was. Lord knows it could have been much, much worse. But anyway, I digress. So, I just spent a minute talking about myself. I apologize. Here's, a, here's the meat and the bones of this, of this video, all right? Mr. Justin. He challenged a couple of us to a build-off. Now, we all know, you know, you, we've seen this, these build-offs on Facebook, on Instagram, and stuff like that. You know, you got to get a specific car, build it up a specific way. You know, there's some certain uh, rules that you have to follow in the build. So we decided to go on ahead. Justin was the one that was the brainchild of this. And, you know, we decided, let's go. Let's run with this. So we decided to build top fuel dragsters. Electric. You can see how happy I am about that. Honestly, if it's going to be a top fuel dragster, it should have some kind of fuel to burn. You know, nitro or gasoline, whatever. But it should have fuel. Not an electric motor, but apparently EVs are the new new thing. I have nothing against the EVs, actually. I think they're pretty decent, pretty cool. But, you know, if it's something that has a lot of speed and it has to be sounding loud, even if you're making a model of it, it should really... But I digress, I digress. I'm sorry, that's personal preference. And at one point, and I'm sure Justin will agree with me, at one point we will go on ahead and we will build a nitro or a fuel dragster. RC Draxer. Why? Because we can. And because we want to. Because we're men. Even though I'm walking with a stick. Anyway. So, today, I got this guy. Let me back up a little bit. Okay, we got this guy. Look at the size of this thing. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Anyway, I'm sorry. I do believe this thing's a 30 inch, but we're gonna. Oh, you know what? It's going ahead. Let's pop it open. All right. I usually do these standing up, but for obvious reasons, we're gonna sit down on this one. So, uh, yeah, I'll deal with it. So basically, this right here is a 30 inch dragster. Let's pop it open and let's see what's inside. It's a letter opener, YouTube. That's all it is, a letter opener. Well, apparently. Okay, I think I see how it is. Apparently, uh, my mind's not working as it should either. There you go. Oh, hello, hello. All right, so now this is not an RTR. For once, it is not an RTR, but we're gonna deal with that. Woo, look at this thing. Goodbye. Anyway. Mm. All right. Let's see if I can get this all in the frame. There you go. Look at this. And there that goes. Look at this thing. This is an RJ Speed 30 inch dragster kid. All right. It does, it's just a kid and uh, no RTR, no electronics, as it actually states right here. Ah. 
Give me a second. So, sorry, I just realized I have a wheelchair. We're gonna use this. It'll be easier. Anyway, as you can see right here, requires a two-channel radio system, one servo, USC to set up with the motor you'd like, battery, and paint for the clear Lexan body. Also requires mechanical assembly and installation of the electronics that we just mentioned. This is what the guy looks like once it's fully built. It doesn't really look like a very difficult build, to be honest with you. Uh, but overall, I mean, I'm sure this thing's going to be fun to build. All right, let's go on ahead and pop it open. And this one actually belongs to Justin. And a big shout out to Mr. Justin. He's the founder of Chop Shop RC. And he went ahead and allowed me to go on ahead and pop this guy open so we can see what it is inside and we can get a better look into it. I do have one already and I am working on building it. But again, a big shout out to Mr. Justin for letting us use the his so we can take a look at what it really is. Because we all know how beautiful it is to be able to open a brand new rig. And him letting us do this. Oh, look at this. This is satisfying. This is a satisfaction that you, Justin, and I know you're going to watch this, obviously, will not feel. Oh, yes. Crinkle, crinkle. I'm sorry if you're wearing headphones. Swish. All right. Let's go on ahead. Pop it open here. One and a two and a three. All righty, let's see what all is included in this kit. Again, I cannot say this enough. This is just a kit that you have to build, not RTR, and it doesn't include any of the electronics. If you built any of the Tamayas, for example, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Although I do believe some of the Tamayas do include electronics. Don't quote me on that. Alrighty, so, it looks pretty decent. Okay, I know there's something in there still. Okay, let's pop the other side. Open. Okay, before I pop this guy open on this side, I just wanna show y'all real quickly. 2006 30 inch wheelbase electric top fuel dragster kit by RJ Speed. Now, the beauty is, I'm not sure if, 2000, if the 2006 states the year it was, uh, it was um, sent out for the hobby shops when it first appeared, or if 2006 is. They lied. There is nothing in the. I'm gonna leave them in here. I'll leave you that satisfaction, Justin, okay? And I promise I'll tape everything up so you can rip it open again, just like you would if it was brand new. Just no cellophane. Anyways, I was saying, I'm not sure if the 2006 that's written under states that it's, um, that it was released in 2006, or if it's just a model number or whatever the case is. Either way is, it doesn't matter if it was from 2006 or whatever the case is, the important thing Parts availability is something here. They do have that parts availability in case you need anything for this guy. Uh, so let's get started. As we usually start, we'll start with the paperwork. Let's see what the paperwork includes here, okay? It looks like it includes some stickers. I'm not sure if this is, oh look, I'll get to them. I'm not sure if this is an actual sticker or if this is yeah this is actually a decal but here's the thing about this okay now if you guys have crickets cry cuts crickets whatever a vinyl cutter look at that just an oracle 651 how cool is that that's the beauty of having crickets now that i, I can usually 
I can take some measurements and print this out. I digress. Okay, back. So let's see what else we got. We got that. We got some RJ Speed stickers, which I may or may not steal one or two because I didn't get any of these with my build. And I feel cheated. And looks just like some sticky rubber ordeal. And finally, last but not least, the, what seems to be the instruction manual. There you go, guys. Now you can see it. Yeah, see, step-by-step -step instructions on how to build it. Now, we're not going to build it. We're going to leave this to Justin to build, but it does have pretty clear and concise step-by-step -step instructions as to how to build it. And let's be honest, all you're really building is a straightforward chassis. So it shouldn't be that difficult. I think the most time consuming thing will be to set up the steering and uh, the motor and all that stuff, right? So here we have an exploded view of it. Overall, I mean, it's really not bad. And I say this a lot when, with a lot of cars that I have, but it's not. Price list, March 2021. Uh, but this is for just in general, all the bodies that they have. The speed kits, chassis, stuff like that. Yeah, it looks like 2006 might actually be the model on this thing. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it. 30-inch uh, wheelbase TF dragster kit back in i must say 2021 yeah 2006 it's got to be the model number back in 2021 this kit was 199.99 it's really not not that bad either okay so back to the beginning rjs 2006 yeah that 2006 doesn't state a year it states the model number it looks like so we have the wheels o-rings 1.5 inch o-rings for the front, for the oh, honestly, they're just O-rings. So, I mean, if you if you go to your local auto parts store, you can easily get uh, water pump O-rings, and they'll work just as fine. Now, here, according to this, the O-rings are around fourteen, fifteen dollars. Last time I checked, the O-rings were running at around, I think it was around fifteen dollars for both for the tires and the O-rings, which really isn't that bad, but I went ahead and I was able to get four O-rings for about five bucks. And they work perfectly as uh, front tires. And you'll see why. So we'll take care of this and we'll go ahead and put it very gently back in here for Justin so that he can make believe that he's the first person opening it and that I haven't already had my paws all over it. See? All over, all over, all over it, dude. All over it. Uh, I'm having a little fun with this video. I'm sorry. All right, so the instructions are done. We'll put them to the side. Here we have, I'm not going to pop them open. I'm definitely not going to do that. But we have foam. I'm sorry, I'm using my other phone, so I'm not sure where the camera is half the time. Foam tires. Nice foam tires. And they're actually really well. I don't know if I've already mentioned this, but I've already uh, started building mine. And um, I've ran it on concrete, which isn't a great idea for foam tires. And they've held up pretty decently. They've actually done pretty decent. Um, let's keep on going here. So the body. Look at this body. Whew. Now the blue on this body is actually the protective tape, I believe. Yeah, it's a protective layer on it. Body comes ready, no holes, no nothing on them. You know, just like you would imagine a regular Lexan body. And this actually is pretty, pretty, pretty straightforward. It's actually pretty decently held together. So we're gonna go on ahead and put the body back in. Again, we're gonna make, we're gonna help Justin make believe that uh, he's gonna be the first one touching this thing. 
Now, as long as this isn't sealed and it's not, let's put a pause all over it. That actually is really nice blue plastic on this. Usually don't get too uh, concerned with uh, the way that the plastic is, you know, with the way that things are shipped, but that's actually a really decent color. Let's Look at that. Okay, anyway, I'm done playing. So, let's see what we got here. Um, okay, this bag is sealed and I really don't wanna open it, but I wanna clarify that uh, the body has already started making its way out. So I'm sorry, Justin, we're gonna pop this bag open just to see what everything is in here. And since everything's on video, you can see that I didn't steal anything from your rig. So we'll do it nice and gently because overall this is in mind. Justin's being kind enough to let me use it as an, unba as an unboxing. Mainly because I didn't do an unboxing for mine. So here we have what I believe is the rear spoiler on it. Really not that bad if you think about it. Just a really, just a basic rear spoiler. The front spoiler. You've already seen the chest, the body. Okay, so basically, all in all, at the end of the day, let me guys, let me set you guys a little bit better here. There you go. At the end of the day, this thing comes in just these three pieces right here. And if I remember correctly from when I, from mine, it would go something along this line, I believe. Either way, one of these two ways. If I'm doing it wrong, I'm sorry. But again, I'm not here to build this. It's not mine. And then the support bar. I'm doing this wrong and I know for a fact I'm doing this wrong. Yeah, I believe actually it should go straight ahead, straight up like so. I might actually be having it upside down completely. Yeah, I think I had it completely wrong, actually. No, 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 I was right, I was right. Anyway, so we're not going to get into all the specifics with this guy. So here we have our little angle brackets, along with the small bolts to use it. I believe this guy uses 1.5 millimeter. Uh, my brain just decided to quit on me. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, bolts. Let's go with that. Okay, I'm sorry. I've been I've been having to take some medicines too for the pain. So, you know, I guess he decided to work against me right now. Anyway, so that right there is the chassis. This right here is a torsion bar. And that, let's see what else comes with it. Okay, so here we have all the fun stuff and it is sealed and once again, I'm sorry Justin And again, uh, I do thank you for letting me use this as an unboxing Because I didn't do it with mine because I didn't buy mine brand new Anyway, okay, so let's separate these pieces here, shall we? So here we have the 1.5 inch wheels, the front wheels. And actually it, they do come with bushings, but I'm pretty sure that you can replace those uh, with bearings, which actually isn't that bad of an idea. Uh, but the 1.5 inch wheels, and like I mentioned, you can kind of see, I'm not gonna pop these open because I'm not gonna do that to him. But there you go. You can kind of see the O-ring right there. All right, so those are the front wheels. We've already looked at the rear wheels. These right here are the body posts. All right, now these, works, these work in an interesting way. You can use them one of two ways. You can either just set them up and you see these two nuts, you can actually torque down the, uh, the body or you can actually use the body clips. All right, with me, I have it with the nuts instead, I feel it's better, although it is a little bit more of a hassle, but still. 
All right, so this is the right height. Basically with this one, I do believe you would just connect it to this bar right here and set it. And I'm, uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a bit. So that all comes to the right height. These right here are the wing mounts for the spoiler or the rear wing, the rear spoiler, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Here, we have one and two little metal rods. These are actually the spoiler ones. Now, if you see here, and I'll show you on the instruction manual real quickly. It is on one of the pages. And of course, it's gonna take me a minute to find it. Go figure. Here we go, okay. It does come wing wire layout, approximately actual size. So basically, you just have to bend this bar in the right angles so you can actually make the wing mount and the wing will sit on the bar itself. And that's the one thing I really don't like about the rear spoiler on this and that's why I'm not gonna use one on mine. Because the rear spoiler just attaches with zip ties. If you see at the rear wing mounts right here, right, these mounts will be attached to the chassis along with the bolts. And to attach the actual wing to the metal rod, they give you the two zip ties. Honestly, I don't like that. It just, it's just a failure point. There's really nothing else. It's just a failure point. So I'm gonna be running mine without a wing. And there you go. I'm giving you an idea as to what I'm doing with mine, Justin. We're gonna go ahead and put this guy away now, once again. Hopefully we will need it again. Okay. This is the rear end. Basically you're gonna build this into a little box. And inside that little box you're gonna attach, is where your motor, and actually I do believe this is where your motor mount is. Yeah, your motor mount is set up in one of these part. And one of these pieces is the motor mount itself. You do get a, an actual Kimbro. How many is this guy? Let's see. And then I can compare it to the one I have. I can't see the count. Yeah, I can't see the count, but it also includes an actual Kimbro uh, spur gear. Uh, this is all the rear axle. So basically, you're going to go on ahead, take this connect it to the hubs sorry you're gonna take this you're gonna connect it to the hubs and your rear axle is actually gonna go on the outside of one of them you're just gonna attach everything together with the uh, provided bolts and that's how we're gonna work that one out we already went through the rear end which is where the motor mount is sitting and everything the whole thing the whole thing actually gets put together with just these angle mounts regular hardware just to put the thing together See, now this is nice, all right? You do get a pinion, all right? I didn't get no pinion, okay? Like I said, I decided to go to for an extra step and I got my uh, second hand from a kid. And uh, I mean, overall, it wasn't in a bad shape, but it did need to, do, to be worked on quite a, a decent amount and it's still not done. But uh, yeah, there you go. It does include the, uh, the pinion and includes all the needed wrenches. In case you don't have any tools, for some odd reason, it does include all the wrenches you might need to put this guy together. The last baggie. Yes, the last baggie. It's the front end parts. Basically, this is gonna be, this large piece is actually where your front spoiler is gonna be sitting it's also, um, basically it's just going to be your front spoiler and where your uh, your front wheels are going to be. This is actually going to be uh, where your front wheels are going to be so you can turn back and forth and all that. It also includes all the little linkages. I know it's really hard to see and I'm sorry, but it includes all the small linkages, includes all the necessary hardware to be able to put this thing together. 
it's like I said, it's really not that bad to put this together. It would probably end up taking, if you know what you're doing and if you've put kits together before, it's probably gonna end up taking you, I don't know, maybe, if you're not doing anything else and you're just focusing on this, it's probably gonna take you about half an hour to maybe hour and a half, depending on how knowledgeable you are, to put this kit together. Like I said, it's just one, two, three, four. I'm not gonna count that one. I'm not gonna count that one. Five, six, seven, eight bags to put together. Eight bags of hardware and accessories in order to be able to put together the chassis. Now, what does the chassis look like? Let me show you really quickly. And here's the completed product. Like I said, this is the one that I was able to obtain. I did get it off a kit. Was in okay shape, but I got it just like uh, just like this guy was. It was pre-built, not properly, but it was pre-built. And overall, I mean, I'm I'm not mad. You know, I did need to get new front wheels, which is why I ended up getting this. Which is why I know that you can use one uh, one point five inch O rings from I believe these are from a water pump don't 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 remember which water pump it was I was missing linkages in the front as you can see I do have two different color linkages that's because again that's how I got it. um this actually the linkage I made yeah the linkage that I built was actually from the wire that was supposed to be used for its uh for its spoiler for its uh Rear, rear wing, whatever you want to call it. So basically, this is how the dragster is going to look like once it's all completed and done. As you can see, I can barely get it in the frame here. This thing's a 30-inch dragster. It's in good shape overall because of the work I did to it. But again, let's go through it real quickly. I don't have to go through the body itself because, well, we all know. Uh, move to the side over here. I don't have to go through the through the shell because it's a shell. So the way that these things are put together, all right, the front is actually put together being held on by a small bolt. I uh, was a dummy and I forgot to bring that tool. And again, I'm not gonna open any of these packages. They're not mine. Justin was kind enough to let me use them. I'm not gonna rip those guys open from him. So beauty of this is we can always just swing the body to the side. Like I mentioned, I'm using, let me bring you guys lower a little bit here. There you go. I'm using the two uh, plastic nuts that are included in order to be able to hold this uh, the shell into the chassis instead of using body clips. And that's mainly because I didn't know that I could use body clips. I never paid attention to the, to the body posts and I didn't see that they had holes in them. Again, I didn't have instructions. So we'll pick this up and swing it gently as much as we can out of the way. The way I've built this, and I wanna give a big shout out to Mr. Rob. He, uh, he was, I posted that, uh, you know, it'd be fun to get uh, being hot rods, being NHRA's kind of stuff. It'd be nice to get a sponsor. And he stepped up to the plate and hooked me up a little bit. And thank to him, I was able to uh, get some parts for this thing to get it running. Uh, the Arma ESC, this is actually an Arma 550 ESC. This is just here for now. For the time being, it will be replaced. Uh, I just wanted to see this thing run. That's it, and it ran. I did put in an Injora 550 brushed uh, motor. I'm not going to say how many turns because I'm keeping that to myself. But, uh, but yeah. So I'm using that. I don't remember the size of the spur of the pinning gear that I'm using, but I am using uh, the original size spur gear. The rules that Justin uh, pretty much set up was brushed. That was basically it. Just 
brushed nothing else just keep it brushed it doesn't matter how many turns it doesn't matter what size of a motor it is this one fits a 550 motor okay i would usually say it'd be better if you can do a 540 motor instead you'll get a little bit more space in order to be able to clear the actual wheels speaking of wheels like i said i ran this thing on concrete and look at that the wheels are out in okay shape so um basically down here like I said, I'm not running a spoiler and uh, kit D3 rear end right here. That's all this little box right here that I have that that's built up here. Alrighty. Now, when I said about this straight rod, which is actually hiding under plastic at this point, the straight rod and the right height assortment so basically the way that this thing will work is this straight rod right here you can see this guy attaches sets up to the post in the front all right and that post is this guy right here and you can just set the collar the more you push it back the more of an arch for lack of a better term you'll have for the body uh the way that uh the owner besides me had it set up this thing was scraping the ground like there was no tomorrow so i went ahead and i gave it a little bit more of an angle so now it actually clears a little bit better but that's basically all that that right height assortment baggie is it's just you get the metal threaded rod you put the little ball cap or whatever you want to call this little guy right there and one end run it through put a collar and it looks like a small rubber bushing and that's how you have that built now i know you're probably thinking wait but where does the battery go well here's the fun part about this okay in the instruction manual it states that the battery you either have to set it up with velcro or zip tie i'm not kidding it actually states that velcro or zip tie and it tells you exactly where to put it. Let's race it. You see these two little slots right here? One and two. Yeah, that's where you're supposed to run that zip tie through. In order to be able to hold the battery in place for this thing. Yeah, interesting, ain't it? It is what it is. You know, I'm sure they're doing that to be able to, uh, uh, to save space. Not space, weight on the car. Uh, now, it doesn't include, like I mentioned, it doesn't include any of the electronics. All these electronics I had uh, or I purchased or whatever the case is, right? So, the servo goes in the center. Again, I didn't have any instructions as to how to put this together. And I'm not sure if I even put the servo on properly. Um, looking back at, his, at Justin's piece right here which is the center the brace the center brace all right as you can see it doesn't have any holes for the servos servo so i actually ended up drilling the four holes for the servo to sit on now whether i was supposed to or not drill those holes i don't know point is it worked all right and that's the whole idea of this little build off is just to make it work um now what is the body what is the chassis made of well the chassis is made up of actual plastic and it's actually pretty tough composite plastic if you look at this guy right here let me try and set the body back for you for a second you can see that it does have a little bit of flex but the main of the flex happens right here if i'm holding it like this there's really no flex at all let me move back a little bit more yeah, if I move it back, you can see that's me letting go of the weight. You can see how it starts to flex a little bit in comparison. But overall, it's actually a really decently strong plastic that the chassis is built off. Overall, that's about all there is to these things. Uh, it's I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a really fun build to do. Uh... I'm not fully done with mine. I do have more things that I'm looking 
and that I'm waiting for it to come off. Again, shout out to Mr. Rob for helping me out and for being my sponsor. Because he was the only one. <laughs> for being my sponsor for 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 my little um, top field dragster that I have going on. I can't wait to see what Justin is planning for his. I can't wait to be able to see his paint scheme. As with me, you'll see it when it's done. All right, guys. So that was basically it. Uh, now, just because it's me, let's go on ahead and let's put this together so that we can put it away. And we're gonna do this on camera. If y'all, if you, if you guys want to follow through with this last part, it's completely fine. All I'm gonna do is go and put this away. We're gonna go on ahead and put it away. And we're gonna put it away on camera so that. Mr. Justin sees that I put everything that I took out back. Now, he doesn't need to. I know I'm just being a smart aleck with him, all right? So we're gonna go on ahead. We're gonna grab the tire, uh, the tie rods. We're gonna grab the metal rods. And they're gonna go in through the center. Alrighty. Gonna grab all of these baggies. Which, by the way, again, I didn't know it included a pinion to begin with. That's that's luck right there. Mine did not include a pinion. I had to, I had to get, I had to get one. So we're gonna go on ahead and we're gonna put the baggie back in. Y'all didn't see that. Everything goes into the hardware. Into the parts bag. If any of you have ever busted your foot, I, I feel for y'all. You know, I hate wearing this this darn boot. A uh, couple of years back, but I call this karma. A couple of years back, my sister did the same thing, except it was on her opposite foot, and I did nothing but pick on her. She's my younger sister, after all. And uh, guess karma paid a visit to me. Right? Years back. Karma does not forget. Alright. So, Justin, I'm sorry. We're just going to leave this as is right now. Alrighty. Going to put this guy back. Alright. Now we're going to close up shop here. Again, the packaging on this thing is actually really really nice the plastic basically sticks to itself look at that oh I think you might want your spoilers um, yeah see what I mean about the plastic sticking to itself it's actually really really nice that it does that There you go. There you go. All right, let's grab the box. And like I said, I will tape up the box for you so that you can make believe that you got it brand new from the store and that I didn't have my paws all over it. All right, so the chassis goes back. Okay. Let's... Follow it up with the rear wheel. Let's follow it up with the Lexan body. Okay, come on. You came out of there. Why won't you go back in? It always happens, doesn't it? Always happens. Stuff will come in, will come out, but won't go back in. I want to be gentle because I don't want anything cracking. Okay. But now we have the problem of the rear wheels. Let's see if they fit in the front. Oh yeah, they'll definitely fit up here. There you go. We'll put that in there back for you. Ya. 
And the most important thing, we'll put the instructions back in too. Ah, we're gonna do this from the front too, actually. The back is pretty decently set. All right. Now I know the instructions could have gone beforehand, but we decided to do it now. All right, they went in, they're perfect. Let's go back with the little blue wrapping. And that's that. There you go, guys. This was the RJ Speed 30 inch wheelbase electric TF top fuel dragster. I can't wait. I really cannot wait for these things to be running properly. Like I said, I've started on mine. I'm not happy with the way it's sitting. I did like the motor, I'm keeping the motor. The ESC will definitely be something else, something different. But overall, like I, you know, yeah, like I said, this thing, that's what happens when you buy stuff used, right? Why did I buy it used? Why did I buy it used? Well, let me tell you why, all right? Y'all know I'm Mexman RC, your budget friendly RC hobbyist. And when Justin came up with this idea, this was the first thing I started looking for was, let's see if I can find a used one because what better way to show that I'm the budget friendly RCer than with finding a budget friendly way to do it instead of spending the price on a brand new one, need a little bit of work, need a little bit more of extra trimming, a couple things modified and built, but I got it running, I got it working, now it's just time to dial it in. So uh, yeah guys, this was Maxman RC, your budget friendly RC hobbyist, stay in tune, stay in touch, check us out, check out Chop Shop RC on Facebook so that you can see how these builds are coming along. And not only these builds, but many, many other builds from many other of our members. One of our guys is currently working on an amazing uh, Spectrum remote that he's modifying for extended range. And this guy, he is, he knows what he's doing. He's smart and I've seen, I've seen how he is. It's blown me the heck away. So yeah, that's it guys. This was it from Maxman RC. Enjoy the rest of your night. Don't be stupid, don't get hurt, don't be me. And enjoy your day, guys. Deuces!